everyone. Welcome to Move Well, Live Well. Do you know how long you're going to live? That's a big philosophical existential question that we sometimes battle and struggle with on a day to day, uh, in our day to day lives with being human. And so I wrote, we have a, a study here. It's called the Sitting Rising Test. There's a test out there to see how long you will live. And it's called the Sitting Rising Test or the SRT test. And it was developed by this doctor in Brazil. His name is Claudio Araujo. I'm now, I'm, I may be butchering his name, but Claudio Araujo is his name. And in the European Journal of Cardiology, um, he developed this test. There were some test subjects and stuff. And he came up with this test. And we're gonna go through how you do this test here as to see whether or not you're gonna live. But um, in a certain amount of time. Well, basically it's on a scale of 10 points, 10 total points. And if you score less than eight points with this test, you are two times likely to die in the next six years. That's it. Six years is all you got. If you score less than three points on this test, you are five times, five times likely to be gone in six years. Now, we didn't develop this test. It was done by the Dr. Araujo here, and it was published in the European Journal of Cardiology. We're gonna put that link in the description. You can look it up yourself uh, as far as the article goes. And here in just a second, we're gonna go through the, the steps on how to do this test, so that way you can do it at home and have some fun and see if you're gonna be gone here in the next six years. So. More like Join one. us here in just a second. We're going to go through that. Okay, so the sitting rising test is on a score of 10 points maximum. You wear something comfortable before you do this. Um, obviously, you, it's good to be barefoot so you have good traction and stuff. So comfortable and barefoot. So your gym clothes will be fine. Uh, so it's easy. It's, but it's simple, but not easy. Here, so check this out. You're supposed to start standing and then you sit down cross-legged, and then you stand from the sitting cross-legged position. And in just a second here, Dr. K and I, we're gonna demonstrate that for you to see how long we're gonna live here in the next six years, so. But when you do this, you can't use your hands, your knees, your forearms, your elbows, your legs, like you can't use anything to lean on. Right, just I'm gonna write down on here what points are taken off of. If right. you lean or waver or you know, use your hands to balance or anything like that, I'll put the point system up as well. And also, again, like I said, I'll put the link in the description so you can see all the details of this particular test. Here in just a second, we're gonna go into it. Well, one more tip. Before you do this, make sure the space around you is clear. We don't clear. want anybody getting hurt. Clear, clear. Clear the space. <laughs> okay, so. The sitting rising test to see how long we're gonna live, it's on a point scale of 10 maximum. And again, you stand, you sit cross leg, you come back up, and if you use your hands, knees, forearms, or sides of legs, any one of those, each of those for support, you lose a point each anytime you use hands, knees, forearms, or sides, or of your legs, minus a point. Give yourself a point off. If you do a balance check, on each balance check, give yourself a half point off too. So again, less than eight points, you're looking at two times likely to be gone in the next six years. Less than three points, you're looking at five times likely to be gone in the next six years. So here we go. Dr. K is gonna go first, I'll go right after her. All right, we got Dr. K going first here. Again, remember, she's just she's standing. She's just gonna go into a sitting cross leg, and then she's gonna just come back up, and there she goes, down, and up she goes, and boom. I, that, I would say that's a, that's a 10. So I don't think in the next six years she's gonna be uh, likely to be dying in, within the next six <laughs> years. So that was, a, that was a nice standing, sitting, and back up, no problems. All right, now my turn to do the sitting rising test. So you start standing, you go down into a sit, and then you stand. And there you go, 
that is, I would say that's probably 10 points. That's a I didn't 10. touch anything, didn't good. lose my balance or anything like that. So I think I'm going to be living longer than the next six years. Again, it was a test done, uh, it was a study done by Dr. Claudio Araujo, a Brazilian physician, and he published in the European Journal of Cardiology. Again, it's on a 10 point scale, and if you have to use your hands and knees, any kind of having to touch anything anywhere without just doing that up and down thing, you're gonna take off one point. Anything less than eight points, you're two times likely to be dead in the next six years. Less than three points, five times likely. Five times likely to be dead in the next six years. So anyway, it's just a fun thing. Check it out. We'll put the link in the description. If you have any questions with this video, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future. That way you can continue to move well, live well. Also, I know you know folks who are thinking, hey, how long? Am I gonna live? Everybody kinda wants to know how long they're gonna live. Share this with them. Sharing is caring. It's fun to do, and it kinda gives you an idea as far as your overall fitness level. Um, a lot of people have talked about this test on whether or not it really is an indicator of how long you're gonna live here within the next six years or so. Share this with them. It's fun to do, and also it gives them an idea, that picture of their overall fitness and health. Also, Give us a thumbs up, give us a like, it lets us know you care. Anyway, we thank you for watching, we appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.